Hello, Stephen with Singular, and today I'm going to show you how to dock your Singular Studio user interface, your application, right over here. I'm going to put it in OBS, and it's pretty straightforward. So check this out. I'm just going to minimize OBS. I'm going to jump, uh, actually just jump right straight over to the dashboard. I made this um, score bug application, or application uh, composition, I should say. It's already open. Just a handful of graphics. I just made a little score bug, and I think I have a lower third. Okay, so let's go ahead and get those graphics into these two overlays. Let's turn off my background. I had a little temporary background in there so I could see the graphics a little better. Um, let's go back to the dashboard. We've made the comp, so we need a control application, right? Control app, right click, new control app. Studio, create, go ahead and open it. Step one, let's get the output URL, the actual overlays into OBS. First thing we're going to do is make an auto playlist. Nice little feature here in Studio. Or you could just take in the graphics you want here. Maybe we'll just do that. A lower third, and we want the score bug. So let's go see these two. Let's bring them in so we can see them. There they are on the output. Here they are in preview. When you click on an item here, you get them in preview. Take them here, you get them in program. Straightforward. Now, output URL right here, upper right hand corner. Let's go F11. We'll go full screen. Copy. I've got the output URL. Jump over to OBS. Now the only thing I have in OBS right now is my laptop camera right here. So I need a new, you guessed it, browser source. That's singular, all browser based. And I'll go ahead and call this singular. And I'll hit OK. And then tab, 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 paste, tab, 1280 by 720 is what I'm working at. Bam, there comes the overlays. That's pretty good, pretty good timing. Anyways, uh, let's go back to that control app and get the, over here, the user interface. So. First of all, let's look at the user interface right now of Studio in its default configuration. It's a horizontal aspect ratio. See the two windows are side by side. What we need to do is get, let's go uh, F11, come out of full screen. We need to get this browser into OBS right over here. But we don't want this aspect ratio. And this um, URL won't work because if we take this URL, well, it's going to look just like this. It's going to have this white header bar right here where it says, score bug app and all this business it's going to have this layout it's not going to work in obs right it's just going to be kind of too long so if we go under here under manage the access to this app we can do some modifiers to the ui check this out we go hide the app header and watch closely as the url changes bam no header equals true so we're going to turn off that white header bar and then under this ap uh, i'm sorry app ui layout let's go vertical we're going to set that to vertical I simply copy this and we are done over here. I'm going to go back over to OBS, go full screen. And in OBS, um, all of these things are docs. That's what they refer to these, all these uh, panels here. You can move them around, reconfigure them. And you can also go under view, docs, and turn them off. Let's say, for example, let's see, it's down uh, there. That control panel down there, boom, gone. I can also go docs, custom browser docs. And I want. Um, Studio UI, singular studio UI. I'm going to paste and boom. Now, the first time you do it, it'll pop this window open. I did notice that if you, um, sometimes it won't pop the UI open. It's not really a bug. You just have to go, um, I'll show you here in a minute. I'm going to, I'm going to take the studio UI and dock it here. Again, I could dock it here. You can move it around down here, put it anywhere you want. It works great over here. So over here, there it goes. Close this. What I meant by that is, um, if it doesn't pop up the UI in OBS, you just simply go back to View, Docs, and then you can see it shows up as an option. The Studio UI is what I named it. Okay, so I can open this up a little bit. Let's bring it up nice and big. And let's go down, because we don't need to see these windows. Something like this. Now check this out. When I click here, I get the preview, which is just glorious. I click here. So for example, let's say that Italy scores a one. I'll get the preview immediately right here before I commit to it, and I hit, uh, update and it's going to update the graphic. I can take the score bug out. I can take it in. I can take the lower third score bug out and lower third score bug in. Again, I just have two graphics. You could have lower thirds here. You could have live bugs. You could have, you know, the kitchen sink, so to speak, with singular, which is awesome. Okay, so I think that about covers it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I had made a video earlier about this, but now that we added the option in the um, manage output, um, those configurations for the vertical layout of um, Singular over here, Singular uh, Studio and the no header, it works great. So thanks for watching, more to come.